Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. So let me just go. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay. Man, I hate that because I had um, messages at the beginning of the video, but the Ace of Pentacles is here, okay? Some of you have quite a, a windfall of abundance that's coming in. I'm going to tell you what I'm picking up on because, first of all, this definitely feels to be related to someone's career, finances, um, your life path. Um, for some, like it's an entrepreneur journey. This is a card for sure about your security, your stability, because right at the, at the gate, there's three cards here, all green, all pentacles. The first card is the Ace of Pentacles. So you have something happening right now with your abundance, but it has a lot to do with you doing something that um, it could be unconventional, all right? It's going to bring you a, a really good fortune, though. It's an extremely exciting career opportunity. It's some type of contract, a deal, but it's very lucrative. The Three of Pentacles is here. The Three of Pentacles, we know, is teamwork. It's collaboration. Um, it's also you receiving rewards and recognition for something that you're doing. And the Knight of Pentacles is here. So whatever this is, it's something that you are, you're dedicated to doing this, okay? You, you took all of the, the necessary and appropriate actions before you started to do this. So this could be something that you've always wanted to do. And the Six of Cups is out here. We'll get to that in a moment. But I, whatever this is that I'm picking up on, it's something that you have always wanted to do. It's something that you don't mind dedicating yourself to. It's it's your purpose. Okay. Now, I remember before when I was recording, the Five of Swords came out and the Ten of Swords. I feel, um, because when I was in the pre-shuffle before, some of you have a person that you either walked away from in the past or right now you're choosing not to um, invest in a person or you're choosing not to do business with someone or allow them in your next, the next cycle of your life when it comes, it, it feels like someone is really protecting their assets, okay? This could be you've received some type of spiritual inheritance and your spiritual inheritance, why I say that is, it's like you're going to receive a lot of abundance from doing something that you love, some type of gift, talent, and or ability is going to bring you abundance. And it feels that here with the five of swords, ten of swords, okay, all of these cards have a feminine energy. And on these two cards, I have this masculine. It feels that there's a person who did not expect you to do this well, in whatever you're doing, you may have walked away from this person because you know that they are not good with finances. This person makes unwise choices or decisions when it comes to finances. I'm picking up a person here who may gamble a lot. Um, they may bet a lot. They may gamble a lot. I say that because on this card, you see this person has like cards and dice and stuff like that. But the Ten of Swords, this is a type of person, if you notice how on this door, this person has like luggage here. It feels like you have a kind of person either in your life now or that you walked away from. This is the kind of person they travel. Um, they make a lot of bad investments. They're, they're, they just, they may make a lot of money, but they spend a lot of money. They lose a lot of money. And if you've been with this person, say if you were married to them or you were living with them or whatever, when it comes to you having this new beginning in your life, especially with your finances, I feel that you are choosing not to include this person. You're choosing not to work with this person. This could be someone that lives at a distance. They don't have to. It could be a friend, family member, but someone possibly has come to you and said, hey, let's do business together. And... I don't think that you, you're you deciding not to do business with this person. For some of you, this happened in the past already. If it did, great decision. For some of you, you're dealing with this now. And you're, you're feeling like this may not be good for you to do. I feel that you are very protective of whatever this is that you're working on because it is something that is tied to your purpose. So you're even more protective of it. Okay. You have the strength card here. There was a lot of Taurus energy before. Here's a strength card in the sun. Quite a bit of Leo energy. But whoever this is, this person did not expect you to have this level of strength. 
with the strength card and the queen of swords, this is um, definitely a feminine who is in a very, very powerful, assertive light energy. You're very ambitious. You're very, you're, you're sweet. You're nice, you know, but this is not you being shy. This is not you playing small. This is you being very logical in your approach. And this could be someone for some of you that you're married to or they're in your family and you're telling them just straight out, no, I'm not doing business with you. They could be very offended by this. But I feel like here with the sun and the hangman energy, you took time out to assess and evaluate if this was a, a good decision for you and you came to the realization that it's not. And whatever is happening now, it's like you're about to have a lot of success with the sun card here. I feel that something works out perfectly for you. It feels for sure like a past energy though. This feels like for some of you, this has already happened. And maybe you're about to take things to the next level in your business. Somebody is like, oh, you know, all that little business that you had. You know, somebody wanted to downplay it or minimize you for something that you were doing because you chose not to work for them. This person could have even tried to make life difficult for you because you chose not to work with them. You know, this could even be a boss. Like somebody is just like, yeah, you know, whatever you're working on, this is not going to work out. But in actuality, with the sun here and the three of pentacles, it works out perfectly for you. I feel like whatever this career opportunity or business is with the hangman here, it's making you see things in a totally different light. Or it's making other people see you in a brand new light. People are like, oh, wow, like, you know, you're actually good at whatever you're doing where your business is going well. It's making people see this side of you that... Maybe they didn't see before. People are starting to see you as someone who was successful. So these cards came out. You have here the wise council card, which is like the hierophant, the knight of wands. You have balance, which is um, the temperance card, the star, the hermit, and the five of pentacles. So these cards before, they all just kind of fell out together. These four cards fell out together. So with the balance, the star, you see this is like earth angel energy. Okay. This is a lot of you going into um, groups, organizations, uh, with all these pentacles out here. You could be working in banking, finance, investments, real estate, or something like that. You could, for some of you, wow, well, I'm, get, I'm getting this now. For some of you, because you're working in like real estate investments or finances or something like that, you may have decided not to do business with the person because they've done something in their past, even with the five of swords, ten of swords that um, it could be affecting even like their their legal record or something like that. And you're just like, I can't mix business with pleasure. You know, I don't think that it, people are not going to trust me if I work with you. It's something like that. Whoever this person is, though, they're not happy about it. But spirit is not allowing me to focus too much on them. When I start to get more into it, though, the camera cut off. Anyway, you now are doing something that is sort of traditional, but in an unconventional way. OK, so a lot of people, let's say like um, people who have a spiritual based business, it's still you're still a business owner. You're you may be using spiritual gifts, your talents, your abilities, whether you're a musician, you work in the spiritual community, um, health, fitness, wellness or whatever. You still have to own and operate that. But you're still the CEO of their business. So it's not like you're just out here being, you know, childish or, or some type of airhead. No. That's actually, that's your business, you know? So some people are going to start to see you in a totally different light, but the Knight of Wands is here. So it's like, whatever this is, you're you're passionate about it. But to see the balance and the star card, like everything is balancing out perfectly for you. You're this natural born leader, this star, earth angel-like energy. I feel like you are starting to embrace a lot of different people from all different walks of life with the um, temperance card here and you're doing things in moderation, but it's this very welcoming type of energy that you have. And with the star, it's like you're, you're very optimistic about the future. So then the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles came out. I feel that a lot of you, you could be for sure working in like healing work, okay? Because with the Hermit, the Hierophant, the star and the temperance card, this is absolutely some type of light work, okay? Like I said, I don't know, you could be in, into um, something that holistic, wellness, healing, whatever it is, um, financial things. Some of you are just, you could be businessmen and women, you know, doing a little bit of everything. 
But with the five of pentacles, I feel that you um you definitely may be helping people learn how to budget their finances better, or you're helping people who've experienced some type of poverty. You also could be helping people spiritually to overcome like some type of poverty or lack mindset. But you're you're offering people assistance. The Five of Pentacles talks about helping someone out of the cold. So then we have here the Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. All these three cards fell out together before. Someone in the past, from your past, I feel this person was juggling. Okay, this person could have actually been living like a double life. Okay, and and this person could be in your life now. Take it how it resonates. I feel that you knew to hold back. You started to recognize that because of how this person does certain things, maybe this person is into investments or something, but the, their level of risk and yours is not a good match. And you're just like, yeah, I'm not going to invest in that. This is definitely somebody that's trying hard to get you to invest in something or to do business. And you're like, no, I don't really think I want to do that. So then you have the page of swords here. And the eight of pentacles. This page of swords, for some of you, this is a new person or someone that you're, yeah, you could be dealing with this person now or you're about to. This goes right into the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands. The page of swords could be your energy where it's like you're being very logical about how you're working on something. The Eight of Pentacles is very hard work. You know, you could have gone back to school to do something. You're getting some type of special training. But this is becoming a master in something with the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. So money is booming. Money is great because you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here. And in the middle, you have the Ten of Cups. So not only is the money coming in, you're extremely happy doing something. And it's interesting because this Page of Swords is here, followed by this. So that's why I feel like the Page of Swords is someone new. Someone new is coming in to partner with you. This is two people working together and then here's the happy, you know, family life or whatever. So you have someone from the past possibly who was on the outside looking in like, oh, wow, look at this person about to have, you know, for some of you, this is going to turn into like a family business that you're building with someone else. And it doesn't even have to be a romantic partner. It's just you're choosing to partner with someone else. And whoever this person is, you left them in the cold and the five of wands because you knew that this person was going to be competing with you and that they were going to make unwise choices and decisions with money and with other things. And it feels like this is someone, if they knew that you have this ability to manifest, what they were hoping is that you were going to build a business for them and it wouldn't have allowed you really to do this unconventional work that you want to do. So this could be the type of person they're all about money. Come over here and you use your, your power, your ability as a manifester to make us money, but you would have had to put your dreams on the back burner or just completely forget them. It feels like you decided, no, I'm not going to work with you. I'm going to focus on doing something that I love. And you're doing that. And now it's like you have a partner that's coming in that maybe they can help you see your vision come to life more or they have some kind of information, whatever this is. But it brings you success because the Six of Wands is here. So... That's what was wow. That's funny because we're at 14 minutes before this one. The camera cut off. <laughs> okay, so I don't feel so bad now. <laughs> so here we have the Ace of Cups, and underneath it is the Magician and Justice. So wow, you can kind of see these cards: the Ego and the Four of, of Wands. So this Ace of Cups, that I feel like a lot of you right now, your energy, Ace of Cups, the Magician and Justice. Your wait, wait, there's something behind that King of Cups. Your energy allows you to manifest things. And the Ace of Cups for some people can for sure be some type of um, like psychic gift, talent, and or ability, okay? You're manifesting things that are very abundant because you're, you're happy. You're very happy with whatever this is that you're, you're working on now. It's like things are just coming alive. Like you have this magician-like energy, this Midas touch energy 
where things are just manifesting. And this is your this is your justice. And again, it's like this is really working in your favor because you chose not to do something. You chose not to work with this King of Cups who was in their ego. Okay. There's a King of Cups out here in who most likely is in their ego. This person. Again, it, somebody out here has addictions. I'm telling you. It, this person is addicted to other people. They're addicted to sex. They're addicted to money. They're addicted to gambling. This this is a very risk, risky person. You may be a little bit more conservative. This person, they, they go all in with everything. And I feel like they could have asked you to go all in with something and you were like, no. That was the best thing you could have done because if this person right now is going down, if they are losing finances, had you been tied to them, this it would have happened to you. Your assets and everything right now, your new beginning is protected because you did not partner with this person. And I can guarantee you somebody out here is upset about this. And if you notice in this car, it's a man and a woman here. Somebody wanted to work with you and it was all out of ego. They may have said that, you know, maybe you're attracted. They want you to be the face of the business. Or it's something that you bring to the table that they thought was really, really going to help their business or some type of opportunity in their life to skyrocket. They didn't care about your well-being, your gifts, talents, abilities, morals, ethics. They didn't care about any of that. This person wanted the money. And I feel like once you realize that about this person, you was like, no. Because you really want to be in your purpose. Yeah, look at that. Five of Cups. This person is disappointed. Five, five, five out here. It's the same person. Look. This person is disappointed. <laughs> five, 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 and then the Ten of Swords. This person is disappointed that they could not compete with you or bring some type of chaos or conflict into your life. This person right now could be going through something in their own life, in their personal life or their business, especially if you're not, you know, in like a relationship with this individual. And I feel that what's happening, this person is reflecting and saying, man, had I not done this or had I not done it this way, things would be better. And the fact that they're losing right now, the tables, they're losing and you're winning. You're in your, your season of, of gaining and winning. This person, they're very upset. And once again, this person has addictions. Seven of Cups. This person is, is addicted to, that. they could be addicted to success. That's that like shiny object syndrome. But see, now you're partnering with somebody different. Two of Cups, Seven of Swords. Two of Cups, Seven of Swords, too. And a lot of you, your partner is shady. <laughs> you, you definitely had a, a very shady individual. Let me see something with these Seven of Swords. Yeah, it seems like somebody either wanted to partner with you or they currently want to partner with you and you need to be careful because there's something that you don't know about this person. The two of wands. And it's two men on this card. Be careful not being somebody's beard. Because I know I said before, somebody may have wanted you to be the face of something, but you could, this could be someone that definitely has some type of addictions or a lifestyle. They're not talking about this. And again, this person, they may say that they're traveling for work or something like that. When this person is not with you, there's other things that they're doing. Or if, the, you know, if this person lives at a distance, there's a, another side to this person or a lifestyle you don't know about. I just told you. There's a devil card. You don't know about something that this person is doing. This same king of cups. Oh, wow. 
this of course won't resonate resonate with mo with everyone, but this could be a man who sleeps with other men that they do work with. It just feels like whoever this energy is, this person has a lot of stuff coming out about them right now. And they're possibly looking back at someone like, man, if I would have just gone in a different direction, I wouldn't be going through this now. Or they see you doing something that they told you that you would never do and it's going well for you. This person is, is very jealous and envious because whatever you're doing is something that they may have been like, oh yeah, you know, that's not going to work out for you. And it's working out beautifully because you're doing exactly what you want to do. This feminine could be a, a Taurus, a Leo. King of Cups masculine. This masculine could be for sure like a Scorpio with Capricorn in their chart. It just feels like you wanted something traditional. You didn't want this, like this person lives a fast kind of lifestyle and it's dark too. This feels like <laughs> somebody that we see in the news lately. Yeah, this person, this person has addictions. They're addicted to the fast life. And I feel like there's a feminine who wanted to work in their purpose. You wanted a home life, family life, and you chose not to be with this person. And you have exactly what you want. Yeah, judgment. Somebody is looking over the past now and saying, yeah, I, I made the right decision. If you're wondering, did you make the right decision? Yeah. Because whatever somebody is going through right now, had you not left this person behind, that would have been you. That's what I'm hearing. Had, had you not left, when you left, this would have been you. Yeah, the emperor is here. And I feel someone now either has their divine masculine or you're about to meet your divine masculine. Whatever happened in the past, it's great for you to just look over it and have grace, mercy, and compassion for yourself. Forgive yourself that you ever like dealt with this type of person because somebody could be um, like ashamed or embarrassed about dealing with this person from the past. But this situation with this person from the past, it was a part of your journey. But with judgment here, it's like you're getting this, this clarity about who you are, your life, your purpose, and then the emperor. This is allowing you now to move into leadership and also partner with someone else who is a leader. Your actual divine master, the Empress card isn't out here yet, but the Empress will be this star energy. Some of you, you haven't met your masculine just yet because the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles is out here. We, have, we do have the Ten of Cups. So for some of you, you could be with someone or about to meet someone and things are going really well. You know, it's definitely a situation where marriage may be in the cards. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, look. You're protecting what you've created. The emperor, emperor card, too, even if you, if it's a woman, this is someone who has created their own empire. And you're with the nine of wands, you're protecting it because you've given up and had to go through so much to have it. Yeah. And there you have it. The chariot and the dreamer. You're moving on to a new beginning. Somebody, you're like, no, you've created so much on your own. Maybe even after having to rebuild your life after dealing with this person, you're standing up and you're protecting this at all costs. Yep, Eight of Cups. And whoever this masculine is <laughs> from your past, there's, there's nothing to do but for them to walk away. This is karma here. The Wheel and the Three of Swords. They have to face their karma and, and move forward. And whatever you've been working on, Page of Pentacles and the Tower, is bringing a new offer, a new beginning for you. Yeah, Ten of Wands and release. Something is over. 
This is definitely you creating something that's bringing you like some type of financial abundance, financial independence, just being secure and stable. This ending led to a, a new beginning, a new beginning that is very, very um, stable for you. It transformed you spiritually as well. The world, yep. You completed this. And it's interesting because we, we kind of get this backstory on this masculine, but this definitely feels like someone right now, you're reflecting on the situation. This masculine is not even important though. Like their energy is here. We can see this energy I pick up the problem, but this doesn't feel like someone that's currently in your life. This this is someone who right now is, you see how this guy is looking on this card? This person, and it's a sword. This person right now is in deep thought, reflecting on their life right now. They're in deep thought about things. This person is probably wishing now that, you know, they would have been more emotionally available or... They would have been more fair and that they could have moved on to a passionate new beginning with you. Yeah. <laughs> There's a masculine out here who is, they're going through it right now. Karma has come to collect. They're going through it and they're reflecting on this feminine who, you know, they may say is the one who got away. This feminine is, is off doing their own thing, building a life, doing the things that this masculine thought at some point was a joke or that, you know, you wouldn't be able to do. They're, they're reflecting now. Nine of Cups. And the Page of Cups is here. I feel that this Nine of Cups, Page of Cups is someone new. You're becoming more open-hearted. You're opening yourself up to new emotional experiences. And your dreams are coming true. This could, for some of you, though, it, it may not even be a relationship. You may just be very happy with where you are in some type of creative project. Yeah, Queen of Cups. You may just be very happy that you listen to your intuition. You followed your heart. You pursue something that you're really happy about. Right now, you you you're really enjoying like your time with with friends and family. And you're just, you're happy you stood up for yourself. Seven of Wands. This is very, very empowering for whoever this feminine is. I'm, I'm actually quite shocked that the Empress card hasn't come out. The Three of Wands, but it's coming. The only reason I feel why the Empress card is not out here is for someone who resonates with this. I don't know, maybe you're not married yet. Or somebody could even be engaged. Like you're planning for the long term, maybe, maybe this feels like someone that's like, well, let me work on this, um, on my career or something before getting married. Somebody out here, it's like maybe you decided that you want to get married or you don't want to have kids or something until you know you got something very solid and stable and secure in your your business life. It feels like somebody right now is building, but this long-term success is, co is coming in. So whoever I'm talking to, if you were wondering if you did the right thing by leaving a person or situation behind, you did. It may have been times where it didn't feel like it, but what you did was was it was perfect. It was exactly, you learned a lesson here and you're moving forward. You have an extremely prosperous and abundant um opportunity that's here if you're working on a business or even if you're in a career because everybody's not an entrepreneur you have a lucrative contract or a promotion things in your life are improving some of you you're going to receive love through a business partnership but it just feels like for it, it, when it comes to love for you someone here has a real love for their work you're a star. You have a love for your work. There's a person out here that will love you, but I, it doesn't even feel like that's really what your, your focus is right now. Either you're already with the person that you truly love or 
you're waiting until you receive the person that you feel is just right for you. It feels like even if someone is in a relationship right now, you're still very focused on your purpose and your business. Six of swords, yeah. You're moving on to peaceful, calmer waters. And I do feel that for a lot of you, this is the end of challenging times for you, but this man is here on this boat with this woman and this child. So, yeah, page of wands here and the six of pentacles. This is exciting news that everything good that you've put out is coming back to you. Is the Empress card in this deck? I mean, oh, yeah, it's in here. Let me see. The King of Pentacles. And there's the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so your person is coming. You're trusting your intuition. Okay. So I'm like, where? I haven't seen the Empress yet. And I was, I've been waiting on the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles came out with the King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So you're going to meet this person or you're already with this person. The only reason, but look at here. You have the Moon, the High Priestess together with the Ace of Wands. So for some of you, again, your passion right now has a lot to do with your own like self-discovery, your spiritual journey. Some of you may, you know, work with, with your spiritual gifts or something like that. But, yeah, this is, this is, like, really, really nice. And then the Four of Cups. Make sure that you don't get too lost in work. It feels like some of you are so deep into like your passion and work that you may not even be seeing like a lover. That Empress card is still not, somebody out here is really focused on everything. Like you could, if somebody, if you're in a relationship and someone has stated that they want to marry you, I'm picking up somebody that's like, you, you keep putting it off. Maybe you don't want to do wedding planning or, but you're just like, no, like we're too busy for that. This could even make someone that's like, you know, what's, do we need to get married or something like that? Somebody is hyper-focused on growing and developing spiritually and their business. Here's a king of wands. Knight of cups, Yeah. This person, somebody is very passionate about you. I don't know if you recognize it because you're so, yeah, here's a queen of wands. So there's a pair because you're, you're so focused. <laughs> Eight of wands. Yeah. This person is coming towards you rather quickly. And here is the Queen of Pentacles, and they're gonna match you. You have the Four of Wands is here with the King of Pentacles, and here is the Eight of Wands of so the Queen of Pentacles. If this is someone in your life now, or when they come into your life, you and this person, either you're gonna just like have like a destination wedding, you may elope. For some of you, this is a kind of relationship that I'm, I'm picking up on when it comes to the new love. It's it's based on just on marriage. The, the wedding, somebody here does not care about a wedding. You don't care about a wedding. You don't really care about the titles. You and somebody, you know what this is. You know what you want. It's, it's built to last. But with the eight of wands or the queen of pentacles, with the four of wands and the king, it's like somebody's going to come to you like, Let's get married. And you're like, okay. This is like, we can, like you and this person can have all the money and you'll get married in your backyard type of energy. That's not important to you. This is somebody who wants something very real and authentic. It's, this is giving me such a, 
this feminine is giving me this very artsy, eclectic, bohemian like vibe. Very, very just down to earth, humble, modest. And Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, like I said before, I'm picking up a feminine for sure that could be a Taurus or Leo. Well, you have Taurus, Leo, or Aquarius in your chart. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Virgo. Like this person is like they're fiery, they're passionate. Yeah, look at that. Two of swords then followed by the lovers. You've been, it's been hard for you to make a, a decision. It's because right now you want to make sure that you're following your heart and that you're not trying to make other people happy. You're choosing when it comes to love, you're very determined not to do what society expects you to do. And you really want to be with the person that's going to allow you to be yourself. This person from your past wanted you to be someone else to benefit them. You want the person now in your life that allows you to just be you. Because on this spiritual journey, you've discovered that you're nothing like the person that you've been showing up as. There is a person out here that they 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 truly understand who you are and they're willing to come in and build this happy life with you. But I feel like even when they come in, you're just like, mm, four swords. You're still trying to maintain your, yeah. You're still healing. You're still trying to maintain your peace. Finally, the Empress, then the Three of Cups. Yeah, but it, from time to time, you're still getting your head about this King of Cups, Eight of Swords, King of Cups. And that's probably, or once you release yourself from this illusion about this King of Cups, it's going to be easier for you to allow love into your life. So you meet a person while you're like really deep in your spiritual journey, possibly building a business, you're learning things about yourself. This person comes in and they're very, they're certain about you. They want to move forward, but I feel that you're like, wow. You, you, you're afraid. You don't want the, the um, past to repeat itself. It's not, though. Somebody now, you could be learning to meditate. Or you're trying to travel more. Definitely focusing on your mental health and your spiritual journey for sure. This is like really, really... The vibes are just so mellow. It's just real cool, real calm, real collected and mellow, this energy right now. This is something... It feels like someone is truly committed to their purpose and their journey... And this is like real acceptance. Like I, this, this feminine energy that I'm picking up on is in their energy. Like, wow, you know, I made it. I did it. Like fully owning and accepting who you are, y'all. I, I feel like I'm, I'm literally channeling a specific <laughs> celebrity right now. That everybody knows. Very well. I don't want to say their name, but I know I'm like completely channeling this person right now, which is so, it's not strange, but um, this is what I want, the guiding light. Look at that. Number one, life force energy. It is time to engage in activities that rejuvenate your mind, body, and soul. It's time for you to reach out and ask for the help that you need reaching out. Yeah, it's like someone here has been very busy. Like you're really busy with your work, your career and everything else. You need to allow yourself to take a break. Rest, retreat, take a break, take a vacation. You know, spend time with friends and family. Yeah, lightheartedness and life force energy. 
It's like you've done all of this spiritual healing. You've closed out this cycle. It's now time for you to let your inner child out to play. It's time for you to create something. It's time for you to enjoy life. It's time for you to let love in. Like you, some, this has been a long, long journey for somebody. Oh my God, I literally just almost got the urge to cry. This has been a really long journey. I feel like somebody has been hiding their truth for so long now. And it's not anything bad. It's just someone has been looking for a home, looking for safety, and, and they're finding it in themselves. And you're not forcing love. You're not forcing anything. You're just in the flow. Empathic overload. It is time for you to truly honor your high, highly sensitive nature. Yeah. See, somebody out here is an empath. And that's the reason why at times you have this illusion of being in, like trapped. You also could be picking up the energy of this King of Cups. At times. I feel like somebody too, like, because you see this person, this King of Cups which we just said to the side, that's got all this drama going on in their life. I feel like it's only, you know, it's natural for someone to feel like, wow, you know, that person's life is going downhill. You had, you know, high hopes for this person and to feel sad about it, but this is karma. Like, this is the, the life that person chose. It's that survivor's guilt that I talk about all the time. It's like, you made it out. You have to be happy that you made it out because... Everything that's happening with this person, that could have been you. You could have been stuck. But thank goodness you're not. You're free to live the life that you've always wanted. Collaboration. Say yes to the exciting new opportunities and partnerships that are on their way to you now. I told you. And crossroads. <laughs> A new business adventure project or career is currently in the works for you. I told you, I knew this. This is about career, like life purpose, your career. Anything else? It's so funny. I ha I just have to say that say this because <laughs> I'm channeling this so hard. But I just heard in my head. The song. Um, I guess this is Fantasia. This is me. I think it's called this me. But the person that came to my mind just released a project called This Is Me. This is me now. Y'all can do I'm not gonna say their name, but you you can figure it out. Spiritual practice, yeah. Somebody here is on their spiritual path. Like they, they want to incorporate their spiritual journey into their, their life, their career. So this is someone who is fully embracing their divine feminine path and journey. Wow, this is so insane. Freedom of choice here. Financial freedom and you are worthy. Wow. In energy protection. So somebody out here now wants to get into energy work or protecting their energy, or this has played a major role in helping them to come out of some kind of situation. Financial freedom. And now you're about to have financial freedom. You're worthy of this. It says you may be feeling trapped in regards to the amount of money that is currently flowing into your life. I feel like somebody out here is actually 
or receiving so much money or about to receive so much money that because I said before it's this very um bohemian vibe like energy of somebody who is not driven by material things you may be thinking to yourself like whoa this is this is too much money it's weird to say no you're worthy of this it's okay so this is someone who has sort of struggled with self-worth and value and someone's spiritual practice now they're protecting their energy because they're tired of being stuck at a crossroads so you're getting these different contracts and deals and opportunities and somebody out here is very spiritual they're an empath they're they're overwhelmed by this feeling somebody is overwhelmed by how much success is coming towards them at this time but we are saying you're worthy of this you're worthy of this financial freedom you're worthy of making this type of money yeah and it's because freedom of choice you made a choice to live a conscious lifestyle conscious living those healthy changes you have been meaning to make are important for you now. It says your choices are yours to make. Don't allow others to make your choices for you because you decided not to stay in this toxic situation, whatever it was, toxic job, relationship, whatever. This has allowed you to completely come out of some type of karmic cycle or an illusion. And now you're in alignment with your divine plan. It says your soul has a master blueprint of your life path that it holds within it. It will never steer you in the wrong direction. That is beautiful. I think I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I think this was a very beautiful reading. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? Let me see because I'm seeing a deck in my head. I'm going to pull a card from this deck. I don't even know what the name of this deck is. I'll have to see the box to know. But it's purple. Somebody could like the color purple. Overcoming obstacles. It says you can overcome anything. So let's see. Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Finding sanctuary. Opening to your spiritual source. Wow. And passion and pleasure is here. Savor your life. Wow, you're protected by angels. Crossing bridges and answering the call. Wow, this is such a powerful reading. I don't know, it just, it feels like divine feminine energy is like all over this reading. These are like divine feminists who are totally just freeing themselves, like f finding your worth and your value and understanding your path, understanding your past, having compassion for yourself. It says you are being cherished by the angels. I think that is so beautiful. I never look at these cards. The time is now. You are being cherished by the angels. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing, opening to your spiritual source. So somebody is tapping in like, with spirit, 100%. And it's allowing you to discover your truth. Man. That is so... I just... This, this card just really hit me. Protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. Answer the call. You don't have to be afraid of anything. Whatever this new beginning is, it's going to bring you peace. You, you can find your sanctuary here. Wow. And it's doing something that you're passionate about that brings you pleasure. You get to make money living in your truth, being happy. And you get to pick the people who surround you. You know? You get to pick who works with you, who works for you. Everything. You're in full control here. Taking shelter says the answers are within. All the answers you need are within. Just open your heart and keep going forward. Get ready for new horizons. Oh my goodness, I'm going to leave it here. Oh wow, this says stretch yourself and dream come true. It is time to move past your comfort zone and into the unknown. Your dreams are coming true because you stay true to your heart's desires. Oh, Oh, my 
my gosh. Let me get off here before I start crying. I really hope that this message guided you within so that you do not go without. And to the to the guys watching, this is this can be related to your own divine feminine energy as well. <laughs> it's not for ladies only. But yes, you guys, I really hope that this resonated for you. You should claim this beautiful, beautiful energy here of this prosperous, new, abundant journey. It brings you like the rich and rewarding life and the family, the home, everything that you've been manifesting. This is the shift that everyone has been waiting for. 